The world is used to seeing Princess Kate, a vibrant, healthy and strong woman, a royal role model to millions. And a figure who's dedicated her life to service and helping others. But now she is in need of help facing her own battles against cancer at the age of 42. This of course came as a huge shock and William and I have been doing everything we can to process and manage this privately for the sake of our young family. A rare and emotional moment, the Crown and the Princess vulnerable, sharing her pain. It was poignant, it was intimate, but also there was a frailty that came through that made it at times quite difficult to watch. So they're not going to talk about what kind of cancer the Princess of Wales had. They're not going to talk about her prognosis. I think they've gone pretty far in terms of transparency uh, now. The Princess of Wales had not been seen on official engagements since Christmas Day, here pictured on a walk with other members of the royal family at Sandringham, happy and smiling. But on January 16, Kate was admitted to hospital for abdominal surgery, discharged 13 days later to return home to Windsor, the palace only saying she was making good progress. It's fair to say the past few weeks have had a rather medical focus. Six weeks later and the first clue of something more serious, Prince William mysteriously pulling out of his godfather's memorial service at short notice, an occasion he would never normally miss. We now know why his wife diagnosed with cancer. We hope that you'll understand that as a family, we now need some time, space and privacy while I complete my treatment. My work has always brought me a deep sense of joy and I look forward to being back when I'm able. But for now, I must focus on making a full recovery. The unprecedented royal video ending a global frenzy of speculation. Well, the first official photograph of Princess Kate has been released this morning since she underwent surgery in January. The Princess of Wales was pictured alongside her three children in a photo that was taken by Prince William last week. The image posted to social media on Mother's Day. But the image backfired spectacularly when leading global photo agencies issued a kill notice. The major press agencies right around the world have pulled that Mother's Day photo, saying it's been manipulated at the source. The doctored photograph was certainly a misstep, and uh, the kill notices issued by the picture agencies suddenly propelled this into the mainstream media, uh, onto the front pages, and it provoked a huge furore here. There had to be a response to what one can only say was uh, a hysterical worldwide interest in her health. I think it got increasingly difficult for her to hear or see the incredibly rude comments that people were throwing at her. It was all perhaps as if we, we owned her, every bit of her, and she had to do what we want. Official photos of the royal family always gets plenty of attention, but not like this. I don't care about those things, but I the don't. question to me is why did, why did Kate apparently care enough to experiment with photo editing? What is exactly being cleaned up? It's hard to imagine the personal agony the Princess of Wales was suffering as a wife and mother dealing with a cancer diagnosis and watching privately as her absence from public life became the new sport for wild rumours and at times vile and hurtful accusations. Well now, internet sleuths are guessing that Kate's absence may be related to her husband and the future King of England, William, having an affair. Crazy rumors about what's been happening with her. Where is she? Where is she not? Ooh, that's, that's her body States double. Government. She's you know, looking the at royals the have body doubles, y'all. It is a safety precaution, <laughs> President. But at this point, it may be nice for her to at least poke her head it's out of the window or something. Kate Gate polarized the internet, as did the princess's statement. Was this the dutiful wife unfairly taking the blame, saying she wanted to 
express my apologies. I was surprised that the Princess of Wales wanted to you know, issue this confession, this apology for editing the photo. One may have thought that the palace would have tried to take responsibility for it. They can work with the broadcast media. Yes, they can work with the print media. But when it comes to social media, they have no control. Once the cancer diagnosis was announced, the tide turned. The princess's critics apologised. I'm guilty of having gotten into the fun of where's Kate and sort of thinking it's funny and sharing the memes. I went down this crazy rabbit hole, thank you to my co-host, and to myself, I have to take blame for that. A lot of my jokes have upset people in the past, and I'm sure some of my jokes will upset people in the future. I do not make light of somebody else's tragedy.